The brother has an ask a question about uh, what is bid'ah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, bid'ah is something like uh, what is an opposite to sunnah. For an example, uh, now uh, many people understand that if you try to explain them to stick with to uh, what is in um, the original teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu and the Sahaba so stick to that and not to create something a new uh, method of uh, doing of ibadah for an example if you read Surah Al-Maidah verse number uh, 3 where Allah said Ali yawma kumaltu lakum dinakum wa atmantu alaykum nimati wa raditu lakum in sulama dinam so Allah has mentioned in this ayah which was which was being called as the last verse of the Holy Quran which was being uh, revealed to the Prophet when he was in Arafah and uh, <coughs> And Allah has instructed the Prophet ﷺ to tell everyone like today I have completed your deen and I have chosen Islam for you. So what we have to do is we just have to uh, practice on that. And how do we practice that? We have to make sure we fulfill our requirements, our obligations uh, towards Allah and to complete our sunnah. Uh, towards the Prophet and uh, not to create or not to invent something which is not uh, was being done by the Prophet and which was not being uh, done by the Sahaba so we have to stick to the original teachings of the Prophet for an example uh, there must be a new methodology of uh, doing a adhkar like in a gathering or making a circles or the special way of doing a atasawwuf or um, celebrating the milad and there's a much more bit that has been invented when uh, and also there's a many glad tidings uh, on the day of judgment and uh, the Prophet has mentioned that when all the Muslims and his Ummah uh, will be gathered at the at the uh, Kawthar River and uh, everybody will be drinking a water and some of the, the people from the Ummah uh, will be removed by the angels uh, by the order of Allah and the Prophet ﷺ will ask them uh, Ya Allah why the angels are being uh, removing the, the Muslims they are also my uh, part of the Ummah, <clears throat> the angels will reply them on the um, and Allah will ask the angels to reply um, they are being removed because the teachings that you have left for the Ummah to practice on later you have no idea or you don't know what they have uh, come up with the new inventions and the new innovations in the deen which was did not existed and uh, which was not being uh, practiced by the um, by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and uh, we do not find anything uh, in his life and uh, we do not find in the life of the Sahabas or the four uh, great scholars and we do not find anything so that is the bidah even if you look at the at the uh, Tabain, all the Taba Tabain, all all the major great scholars like uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, and Imam Malik, and Imam Shafi, Imam Ibn Hamad, may peace be and uh, blessing of Allah be upon all of them. Even we do not find any uh, parts of the bidah was being invented in that time. So so many things was being invented uh, in much very later on by the centuries later started in the North Asia and the Asia and those are several countries was like many uh, innovations was being started which has nothing to with the, the deen so what we have to do is like whatever the Prophet ﷺ has left for us has like uh, enough like thousands of thousands of hadith where we can understand the life of the Prophet ﷺ and try to adopt that into our life and also for more examples we can look into the lives of the Sahaba and uh, from all these examples we are able to uh, stick to what is the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and what is the lifestyle of the Sahaba and not to invent when something what our scholars teachers and uh, uh, what a buzurg or the awliya or anybody teaches so rather we get our own knowledge and we stick to the uh, main fundamentals of Islam